into Okay, next problem. Uh, this is next slide, this is a PowerPoint. Uh, we need to determine the moment of area about the y-axis of the shaded area. So, meron ko itong shaded sa mga siyang melon. So, paano ba nang buo yung shaded area na yan? So, ayan, meron kang triangle dito. And then, susubtrakan mo o ibabawas mo yung area ng yung spandle o parabola. Okay, so doon sa libro naman, uh, meron ang general formula for a uh, nth degree curve. So, hahanapin natin. Ano? But, first, uh, isimplify muna natin yung equation na to. Kasi kung mapapansin nyo, uh, yung y kasi naka-squared, pwede pa natin itong isimplify para malaman natin yung degree ng curve with respect to x. Di ba ito, kapag transpose mo yung uh, squared sa kabila, bababa lang, di ba? Or magiging raised to one half. O one half is just square root. So, yan pala, pwede rin natin sabihin na y is equal to k. So, ito naman k, wala naman tayong uh, pakalam dito sa k na tayo. This is a constant value. What we need is the degree or the value of n ng ating x. So, the degree of the curve na yan is, or yung n, is equal sa lang sa 3 halves. Ano? So, Okay, so ano nga ulit ang pinapahanap sa problem? So, the moment of area about the y-axis. Ang mangyayari lang, with respect to the y, ito, iikot siya dun sa ating y. So, ang ikot niya, kung imagine mo lang na ganyan, so, iikot siya ng pag -ano, with respect dito sa axis na to. Sa so, y. Kung x yan, edi, pag ganito yung ikot niya. Ano? So, since y yan, pag ganito yung ikot. So, mga kailangan nating uh, distance is yung value ng mga x bar niya. O yung centroid with respect to the x. Okay, so unahin natin uh, for the triangle. So, uh, so for, para sa triangle, ang centroid ng triangle natin, itong triangle na ito, let's say na nandito siya. Ano? So, di ba alam natin na uh, coming from this maximum point or the, this highest value, ang distance na yan ay equals lang sa iba one third lang ng iyong base which is 21 therefore kung yan ay one third ito will be equals lang sa two third ng 21 or 21 minus one third ng 21 ganun lang din naman yung lalabas so sabihin na lang natin na two third ng 21 okay and then next will be for the uh, value of your, or the centroid of this trapezoid. So, again, ibabawas mo lang sa trapezoid. Ano? So, let's just say na nandito yung centroid ng uh, sa trapezoid. Sabihin natin banda dito. Ano? So, what will be the value of this? Sabihin na natin x bar ng trapezoid. T. So, paano mo makukuha yung x bar T? So, x bar T would be just equals to so ano nga yung general formula natin para sa mga n degree curve okay so that will be the base over the degree ng curve so ano nga general n plus 2 tama? kung saan nga yung n mo is 3 halves so substitute mo lang the base is 21 over 3 halves plus 2 so simplify lang natin 21 divided by 3 divided by 2 plus so the distance is 6 6 so 6 ok so tama naman so, nandito nga sya banda ok so if this is 6 therefore itong distance na to will be uh, so 21 minus 6 so that will be 15 uh, okay so now we can now solve for the moment of area so from the term itself moment of area yung area yung moment mo lang with respect to sa axis na pinapahanapan ano uh, so
total area or the shaded area multiply by x bar. So, equals lang din yun sa moment of area. Moment of area with respect to y. Kaso, may nalimutan pala tayo. We need to solve first for the value of the total area or the area of the shaded part. So, that will be area lang ng triangle. So, kunin natin yung shape. Minus the area of the spandrel. Ayan. So, before that, ano nga yung formula natin for the spandrel? Sige, in direction na pala natin. So, area ng triangle, one half of base times height. So, 21 times 18. So, uh, kung marirecall nyo, di ba ang triangle natin is a first degree curve. So, kung i-apply mo yung form formula do sa table natin, di ba formula for area, the general formula, is 1 over n plus 1 multiplied by base na x times y. So, kung first degree curve yung triangle, so 1 plus 1 over, so magiging 2. So, 1 half ng base times y. Ano? So, kahit pala yung general formula na lang sa ulitin mo, as long as alam mo yung degree ng curve ng bawat uh, geometric shape. So, again, triangle is 1, uh, rectangle is 0, tapos mga line, yung mga load na concentrated that is negative 1. So, anyway, yan naman na yung i-discuss yun sa inyo sa mga higher subject. So, again, nasa na tayo? So, area nyan. So, minus the area of the hindi naman spandrel to kasi uh, spandrel but on a 3 half degree na curve so 1 over n plus 1 or 3 halves plus 1 multiply by x times y so 21 times so what is the total area so 2 raised to 1 times 21 times 18 minus Divide 2 plus 1 times 21 times 37.8 <coughs> But total area e moment area lang naman yung kailangan Okay, so di bali na ah, Baka may points, baka bigyan ni sir So, hinan up na rin natin Kasi nga, moment lang naman kasi to so, individual lang yung kailangan natin. So, unahin natin yung triangle. So, 1 half of 21 times 18 multiply by yung um, distance niya o yung kanyang x bar. So, 2 third na 21. And then, minus. So, 1 over 3 halves plus 1 multiply by distance. So, that would be 15. 21 times 18 so 1 half times 21 times 18 times 2 divided by 3 times 21 so 2646 2646 so minus 15 times 21 times 18 divided by 2 so minus 2268 Two six four six minus six. A few moments later. Ayan. So the answer is three seven eight. So ang unit nyan, uh, since moment ang area. So area ano bang unit ng area? Uh, unit square, di ba? Tapos yung x bar mo, yung moment arm. So that is also inches or unit. So that would be inches cube. Okay. So, ayun yung concept ng moment of area. Okay, so for our last problem, uh, meron ka ditong composite section which is composed of different shapes ng material. So, meron kang rectangular section. Ayan. So, meron ka ding dalawang shape ng angle bar. So, 5 by 3 by 1 half. So, yung isa, 6 by 6 by 1 half. So, find the location of the y bar with respect to the given x axis. So, magkaaroon tayo ng konting participation base doon sa mga nanonood. So, since masipag ka at nakarating ka sa part ng video na to, uh, maaari ka manalo ng 
100 peso na doon. So, pipili ako ng tatlo dito. Ano ba? So, ano ba yung magiging mechanics? Siyempre, uh, dapat subscribe ka doon sa channel natin. And then, pangalawa, try mo mag-invite ng mga kakilala mo from other major. Mechanical man yan, electrical, or kung ano pa. And then, sila, pwede rin sila mag-participate dito. So, kung gusto nyo magka-load, tapos natuto pa kayo, pwede pwede sila mag-participate. And then, yung pangatlo, please send me through messenger yung solution mo. Ano? So, gusto ko makita kung paano mo isosolve to. Ito kasi pwede mong hanapin yung X bar and Y bar niya. So, kagaya ng ginawa natin sa uh, isang example. Ayun lang. So, guys, thank you for watching and please, 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 please subscribe to my channel. Ano? Yun lang. Good day, everyone.